You would not believe the debate that this topic gets on the internet. Something I so vividly remember from my DeviantArt days back in 2013 to 2014 or so is still discussed in length, might I add. Uh, apparently, many people are really passionate about this topic to where it seems to get a little heated. First, let's define the basics. A FC, or a fan character, as defined by asking Google, a character created by a fan of an existing franchise that is based around and borrow ideas, concepts, characters, and lore from that franchise. Next, an OC, or an original character defined by Google is a fictional character in a fan work who is the creation of the fan work's author slash artist rather than part of the official canon. Needless to say, these definitions, in my opinion, sound a little convoluted. However, the merely typed in and searched definitions make the two sound related. And yet, as soon as someone says they're the same, well, that's when all these passionate individuals come rolling out of the woodwork to state their case. Some with very, very strong feelings about the topic. So I'ma be that person by stating my unpopular opinion on the internet. That yes, fan characters are in fact original characters. Before I go into detail of how I came to this decision, let's start with some story time. Gather around my peeps as I regale you the personal discourse I've had with FC versus OC debate. Ah, uh, back in those early days of my college years on DeviantArt, there are lots of artwork sharing groups you could join. Fun little community-based hubs filled with people that had same-minded like interests from ships to photography and beyond. Now, some of those groups I ended up joining were anime groups, and oh boy, I distinctly remember the admins making journals about people submitting to the wrong folders. To be fair, being an admin of a group, which basically a moderator of the art group, you had a lot of submissions to sort through if you didn't allow auto-accept. If you did auto-accept, well then the whole submitting to the wrong folder discourse comes back into play. Which I didn't pay attention to, cause I was an outstanding model citizen on the platform. I read the rules and guidelines and was a stickler myself when I submitted. However, what ended up catching my attention were the journals being posted about the FC folders and OC folders. This is how I learned what FCs even are. Up through my nerdy public schooling years till this point, I always called my characters OCs. Talking with my friends or getting into a series, we'd always say, I'm gonna make a character! And the response usually was, oh, so you're gonna make an OC? Or something to that effect. So, now discovering there was what felt like a new term to me to call my OCs, I started to notice a few things and they weren't necessarily fun. First, some of those groups, specifically the OC groups, apparently many didn't allow art of FC into their group. If it was a fan character, it just wasn't allowed into the group or invited to the little party. <laughs> oh man, this is giving me mean girl vibes at the lunch table. Here, a younger, more impressionable me is getting sweaty at the thought of even submitting one of my works to the groups, which usually were, you guessed, fan characters. I remember back in the days of high school before this, I was much more active drawing my characters with the canon characters of the series I was into. And it only took about 10-ish years after my early college deviant art posting days to realize the bias and negative connotation with the label fan characters is what made me stop drawing my characters with recognizable canon characters altogether. Though I'm getting better now. Unless you're in my inner circles, when scrolling through my old works on deviant art, I'd typically have the name and the title, but the description would never reveal the full context on who this character was for. In a way, 
I was able to sneak my fan characters into those original only character clubs because the admins had only vague description and no obvious visual cues to find me out. <laughs> eh. Eh. With that said, why did the label fan character just rub me the wrong way? I remember having such internal discourse and struggling to admit that's what the majority of my characters are. Reflecting back, I think I can now list off three very good reasons as to why. One, the label itself belittled the effort and value put into the character. Two, openly stating my character was a fan character put a target on their back, made them stick out of the crowd, which leads into three. And three, being, by being a target, welcomes the community criticisms that often led to gatekeeping. I actually want to discuss two and mostly three in length, especially three, but that's going to be covered in another video. So for now, let me sum up what I mean in the second one so you get an understanding for the first. Simply put, by stating a character was a fan character of blah or blank series would immediately put them under the scrutiny of that fandom. And if the internet collectively sees them as passable or not. If not, it can lead into discourse of labeling your characters further with things like Mary or Gary Stews, which if you don't know what that terminology is, be sure to check out my video on the matter that I briefly cover up, at, up in the upper corner over there. Yes, please click on that if you want to know about that. Anyway, this unnecessary and usually unasked scrutiny mostly led to labeling FCs for the number one reason I don't like. And that is the feeling that my character isn't as valued as a quote, original character. Just because a character is a fan character doesn't mean they aren't as valuable. You'd be surprised the amount of effort one can put into them. And I would know because to this day, I have tons. Each and every one I've made throughout all the nerdy years of school to beyond. I have taken these little beginner characters and polished, redefined almost each time I am back into a particular series. I could write a book on the amount of revamps all of my characters have undergone and maybe given some time we'll go through again. On top of the fact that as an artist, I have redrawn and redesigned them many times, some more than others. There's no denying the amount of passion I hold for every character I create. And yes, I understand that if you don't want critique, then you shouldn't be putting them up online for the whole world to see yada yada all that jazz. But at the same token, one, there's a difference between critique and flat out tearing down. Then two, nobody asked for your opinion. I've learned to embrace the fact that I create a lot of fan characters and probably will continue to do so until I die. So, now you're wondering, this is all fine and good, Akemi, but how are OCs and FCs the same? In my opinion, they resemble the adage of thumbs that says all thumbs are fingers, but not all fingers are thumbs. They're closely related, yes, but just a little different. Fan characters being the thumbs and original characters being the fingers. Meaning that fan characters can be considered original characters, but original characters can't necessarily be considered fan characters. However, in order for this statement to really follow through, I need to redefine what original and fan character means. So, just like what my college professor used to say, use the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. So, now. On to our new definitions. First, FC or fan character. A fan character is a fictional character made with the intent to be immersed within a pre-existing fandom series, etc. Next, OC or original character. An original character is a fictional character without the intent to be immersed within a pre-existing fandom series, etc. So, how would a fan character be considered original character? I'll give an example. See this here? This is Suzume. In truth, Suzume is a fan character, and I'ma let y'all guess for which series. Was she a fan character for A, Naruto? 
B, Death Note. Or C, Code Geass. Go ahead, I'll wait. Truth be told, if you picked any of those, you're all wrong because they are all from a series I was really into when I was in high school, which I graduated in 2011. Ha! Trick question. Gotcha. Suzume was made in 2015 when I really got into the series One Piece. Here's some art of her, clearly involved with Whitebeard's crew. And I literally wrote fanfiction and put it up on Wattpad, which I ended up taking down, and you're never gonna find it, so heh, heh, heh. Anyway. Even when my enthusiasm was dying down for the series One Piece, my love for my character was not. I just adored how I made her, the flaws I imbued in her, all the traits I spent cultivating and more, on top of the fact of how I designed her. I ended up designing and creating a character that actually outgrew the series I intended her for, to where I just wanted to construct a whole new world of my design to put her in which is now called, drum roll please, the troop. In that regard, I plucked her from the pre-existing fandom she was immersed within and put her into her own original series. She became an original character and with that thought in mind, please be aware that you don't need to construct a whole world like I did for your fan character to be seen as an original character. In my mind, Every fan character has the potential and capacity as an original character because in the end, it is you who originally designed them. They're original to you. Why should it matter if you created them with the intent to stick them in a pre-existing fandom? Fan characters, in my opinion, get a bad rap and it's probably due to the communities they're involved in and all the gatekeeping, which I'm going to discuss in my next video. So what are your thoughts and opinions on this matter? Do you feel like fan characters and OCs are just deliberately separate, that it's black and white? Or do you feel like there's a little more gray area in between? Please give me your response and your thoughts and opinions on this matter in the comments below. Also, be sure to give this video a thumb to support all the wonderful fan characters you as well as others have made. They are valid, just like you. And if you don't want to get into some type of debate or talk about it in the comments, just give me some high five emojis so that way I will know you have watched it all the way to the end. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more of this girl's content. Better click that bell so you will be notified when I release my next speed draw talking about gatekeeping in relation to this topic of characters and character creation. So thank you guys so much for watching, but remember everybody, be awesome, be you. Akemi, out.